Welcome back to Afternoon Express on 3. Now, it's that time of the show. It's time for Winner Home on Afternoon Express, where we follow our three talented young design contestants as they turn three empty apartments into dream homes at the Polo Village at Veldevi Estate in the Cape Widelands. And the best part is that you, the viewer, stand a chance of winning one of the completed apartments valued at over 3 million rand. Now, this week, we met our three Winner Home judges our property finance, finance expert, as well as our three young design contestants. Joanne Fenter from Bloemfontein and her mentor, the editor-in-chief of VC magazine, Sumin Fenter. Then from Durban, we've got Milen Kle Ntul and his mentor, the editor of L Decoration, L Decoration magazine, Bill Be Bellingham. And Rudolf Jordan, along with his mentor, the editor of real estate magazine, Michelle Snadden. In case you missed any of the action, here's one more look at our mentor. I'm Sumin Brunk and I'm the editor of VC Magazine. Because I've been in the industry for such a long time, my style is quite a complicated style. It's a little bit of new, a little bit of old, with a little bit of madness thrown in. I'm so excited. What I'm looking for is an enormous amount of talent, enthusiasm, um, the willingness to actually do the hard work and just to be fearlessly creative. I don't think I've ever been a mentor to anybody, so this is a, a great challenge for me. And I hope we have a fantastic working relationship because I think if you've got a good relationship with somebody that you work with, half the battle is won. Obviously, we are hoping to win and hoping our contestant to win. And I think we want to show South Africa something they've never seen before, something that is totally unique and something that everybody wants to live in. I'm Belle Bellingham. I'm the editor of Elle Decoration magazine. I define my personal style as evolving. I definitely have a tendency towards glamour. No matter what the trend is, I'm always going to gravitate towards things with a story to tell. What am I looking for in my design contestant? Someone who's very hardworking. You can be good at anything if you're really committed to working the hardest at it. I think also someone who's just as in love with it as we are. That's the big thing about working together in teams. It's, it's very trendy to collaborate and to co-create and all of these trendy words. I, I want to have some fun. We are styling, we are doing decor design. It's a subjective, emotional, very personal thing. So I really hope that we have the same preferences. If we don't, I really hope we can be friends. <laughs> My team work with me every day. They understand that they are tough, but I am a little bit nervous that I might be a bit tough on the contestant. So I want the end product here to be really something spectacular. And in order to get there, you can't be a sissy. My name is Michelle Snadden, I'm editor of Real Estate Magazine. My personal style is based around my story, my life story. And so for me, coming home is all about coming to somewhere that's really comfortable. And I love good art, photography, books. Home without books is a home without a soul. It's not just about the basics, it's about the soul space and it's about your history. It's about your heritage and it's what has a sense of meaning for you. And what's really amazing is now that there are top architects working on those developments. It's so much more exciting a space to play in than it used to be. The trend is huge. I'd like to be a collaborative mentor, someone who helps network the young designer with, with the networks that we have in the magazine. When you move in a project like this, it's about the budget, it's the final vision for the development space that's really important. I really want to work with someone who's got quite a clear vision and to watch how those are shaped into a very defined competition space. The designer needs to work within that space, yet give it, give it character, give it some meaning. Sure, our design contestants are definitely in the safest of hands. Now, it really is true when they say location, location, location. This season of Winner Home, we really are on one of the most beautiful locations in the country. Val de Ville, located between the stunning family-friendly Paul uh, and particularly a culinary dream, Franschuk, this is where you want to call home for sure. Joining us on the couch again is Val de Ville Marketing Director, Rake Neertling. I mean, you've had lots of places to live around the world and you've particularly chosen Val de Ville as home. What is your favorite thing about living then? Why, why an estate living? Um, I think for me now, you've got all the amenities that somebody like myself, I mean, we've got, we've got uh, soon we'll have three gyms, so you can sure. pick and choose where you want to go exercise. You've got uh, more than 30 kilometers of uh, you know, running trails, of mountain bike trails. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, you've got one of the best golf courses in the country. Uh, you've got the polo fields, all the equestrian facilities. Uh, it's incredibly you know, beautiful. I've traveled mm. all over the world. I haven't found a place that, that, that has that beauty. Mm. Um, and uh, so for me, it's really everything that I need or ever dreamt of. Yeah, no one, I definitely don't think anyone's ever going to be complaining about it. But I mean, I've heard a lot of people say that a state living or living outside of city centers is quite tough, especially if you're still working at the same time and want to commute. And you've obviously had lots of options to live in cities, you've lived in towns. Um, why the choice to live slightly further out on a sort of estate as opposed to living in town centers? What are the benefits? Yeah, I think, uh, you know, today, I think the whole sense of work has also changed. So, so we've got fiber to all the homes, so you can work from home you know, very mm. easily. It's uh, um, you know it's only 20 minutes to uh, you know to Durbanville. Um, you can if you travel off peak, uh, but you know Paul is growing and uh, it's got everything that you need. It's uh, I mean I drove here in uh, you know in less than 40 minutes and uh, you can come in for dinner if you want here mm. and uh, so it's really got everything and and um, yeah, like I said I, I, I you know I couldn't be happier and. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Um, especially for an active person, you know, yeah. and for young families, really everything there. And it's incredibly safe. I think mm. about 60% of our buyers come from Gauteng. Um, unfortunately, uh, it's not that safe in Gauteng. And, uh, you know, they're looking for safety. And, and we're known as one of the safest estates in Africa. Sure. So, so the family can be very safe when, when, when the breadwinner you know, has to go out yeah. there and to go uh, work. Yeah. And the state is always looking to expand. And I mean, not only do you call it home, I mean, you also work for the estate as well, which is incredible. And um, you guys have got the new polar village, which has been built. And that's where our homes are going to be uh, this year round. What is so special about that spot? And should our contestants be keeping something in the back of their mind about what they should be creating. Yes, it was um, it was a new product for us. Uh, so apartments, um, you know, historically we just sold land and people would build their dream home. Mm. Then we went for something um, a little bit different. You know, these apartments they were designed by Stefan and Tony, who who's uh, arguably the best known uh, you know, architect I think in Africa. And uh, so it's right in the hub, it's close to the restaurant, it's close to the action. Mm. That's why it's called the Polo Village. Um, uh, it's, a, it's, it's a lock up and go. So for people that live in Gauteng, if they want to fly down for the weekend, close to Franschhoek, in the winelands, all the restaurants is there. We've got a we've got a 24-hour concierge you know service. So, mm. uh, you know, spur of the moment, you want to book table at your favorite restaurant, mm. we can do that for you. Sure. Um, uh, if you need a ride, we can take care of everything. So it's really like a full service package. Mm. And um, I'm very interested to see what the contestants come up with. <laughs> so at least we don't have any other reason to live there. You've just given us about a million, which is amazing. But and what about the surrounds of the area? Because Paul, not a lot of people know about, but I mean, it's like sitting in like just close to Stellenbosch, and that's one of the great economic hubs of our country as well. I mean, what, what are I in the surrounds? Because I know there are a lot of really good schools. It actually is a, is a growing area that's going to be one you want to invest in. Yes, you know, Paul is a little gem. Um, mm. It's quiet, but uh, it's beautiful. It's got... Uh, um, arguably one of the, uh, uh, you know, some of the best schools in the country. Yeah. Uh, so that's a big, a big driver of our sales. Uh, we're pretty much right in the middle between, between Paul and Franschhoek. And we're building a bridge across the Berg River that will make it less than 15 minutes into Stellenbosch. Obviously, the mm. university is there. Some top, uh, um, you know, financial firms True. have the headquarters mm -hmm. there. So, uh, so we're really situated right in the heart of the Winelands. Mm. And... Uh, um, like I said, there's, you know, there's something for everybody, especially it's mountain biking. You know, now it's become such a big sport and you can literally just go out the gate and you're in the mountains and, yep. uh, and it's quite safe. One of our contestants is in fact a mountain biker, so I think he's going to be excited to explore that sort of avenue of where you guys are going. Yeah. Stefan Anthony, obviously being the designer of the Polar Village, there's a lot of collaboration going on here and um, we're getting incredibly excited about this collaboration. I, I hope you are too. And um, what are you most yeah. excited for with Winahome? Yeah, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm excited to see, uh, obviously, how they interpret the estate. Um, and and uh, I think this year, obviously, I've, you know, like I've also followed the show over the, you know, over the last couple of years. But I think this year, the, the teams are, um, uh, the, you know, this, all this expertise and experience there. So mm. it's going to be really something special. And uh, we're going to be able to sell it again afterwards. And <laughs> I'm, very just, I'm very excited to see that. Exactly. And uh, hopefully mm. we get some ideas for future phases uh, that, we can, that we can launch and we can take their input and, and, yeah. um, 
and design an even better uh, you know, product. They're young and they're super talented and they're locally produced, which and is really, really exciting. So, yeah. so. <laughs> <laughs> Rick, it's so good to have you. Hopefully we'll catch up with you as we go and I'll probably be seeing you on the Polo State a few times uh, throughout this period of one oh, Cool, thank you very much for having me. Sure, it's an absolute pleasure. This place is absolutely breathtaking. I can tell you that much. I've been there enough times to know that I'm going to call this place home at some point in my life. It offers more than just a home, but a lifestyle. It's perfectly situated and beautifully designed and this is truly one of of a kind. Now every weekday we follow our talented three design contestants as they turn empty properties at Valdivia Estate in the Cape Winelands into dream homes using finishes provided by Caesar Stone and Plascon and the best part is that you can enter the grand prize competition on privateproperty.co.za you can stand a chance to win a finished apartment it's valued at over three million rand people. Now Winner Home is proudly brought to you by Private Property in association with Nedbank. We'll be right back.